welcome back to my channel. So since the beginning of Fashionista back in 2012, when I started to make videos and post blogs about fashion and beauty and living with a visual impairment, one topic has consistently been requested by my viewers, and that is makeup products and specifically eyeshadow products and eyeshadow tips when you have a visual impairment and people always ask me on my facebook page and on my twitter to make more content about this and how to apply eyeshadow and what are the best products to use for eyeshadows when you have a visual impairment i thought that i would sit down and do a video for any of you guys watching out there who wants to get into eye makeup and maybe you have a visual impairment and you're not too sure what products are going to be the easiest to use well this is hopefully going to be of some help to you because it's all the things that i personally swear by it's the things that make my life easier to apply makeup with a visual impairment and it's the things that i really wish i had known about when i first began to apply makeup with a visual impairment and i can tell you I had so many makeup mishaps even though I have a mother who's a makeup artist I was a teenager I was a bit rebellious I was like no I'm gonna wear teal blue eyeshadow I don't care what you say mum and it just it didn't go down too well so this video is going to specifically be talking about things that I would recommend for eyeshadows if you have a visual impairment but if you would like to know more about how to apply eyeshadow when you have a visual impairment and the steps that are involved I made a podcast over on my podcast channel that I co-run which is called Fashionability and it's on all the parts of the eye and where to apply eyeshadow if you are new to eyeshadow so if you want to know more about that I'll leave that link down below where you can go and listen to that. I'm going to get straight on into talking about the products. I first of all want to begin by talking about an eyeshadow primer. Now I know it's not an eyeshadow itself but eyeshadow primers are basically designed to help to keep your eyeshadow in place for longer and to help them wear better and to stop them from creasing and to stop you from getting too much fallout. If you get oily lids or if you maybe don't want your eyeshadow to kind of start to fade or to crease throughout the day, this is a really good idea to help them to stay in place. The eyeshadow primer that I would personally recommend if you've got a visual impairment is the Gosh Prime and Refresh Illuminating Roll On Eye Primer. The reason I like this one is because it is literally like a clear gel, so it doesn't have any colour to it, it doesn't have any kind of pigment, so some of the other eyeshadow primers that I've got do have a bit of a pigment to them, especially if they're like a concealer based primer, so you will see them if you haven't blended them in properly, but with this one, because it's clear, you don't see it if you haven't blended it in properly, it kind of just fades into your eyes and it's just really easy to apply and it's really quick. And it comes with this really nice three rollable applicator so it's really cooling on the eyes especially if you get puffiness as well and I just think it's just really nice. Gosh is available in Superdrug here in the UK and I believe you can also get it online as well and it's personally one that I really like and it's quite cheap as well. I think it's like 7 99 I'll link it down below anyway. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below but it's a really affordable product and it'll last you a very long time and to be honest eyeshadow primers are basically just to help your eyeshadow stay in place for longer. It helps them adhere to your eyelids and it just means that it's a little bit easier to apply eyeshadow so that's the reason I would personally recommend starting off with an eyeshadow primer because they do work they're not a fad they are there for a reason you know now moving on to eyeshadow I love eyeshadow palettes in particular but when I first began with eyeshadow I tended to use single eyeshadows more and things that were more of a cream base just because they're easier to apply and you don't get any fallout with them and when you're first starting out with eyeshadow one of the biggest things you can find is fallout especially if you're not used to applying eyeshadow and basically what fallout means is that the actual product will kind of fall out and collect onto your under eye area and you can kind of see little kind of flakes of the actual eyeshadow which is not very attractive and you have to kind of try and sweep it away and disguise it and if you're starting out with eyeshadow that can be a little bit of a pain up the backside. Cream eyeshadows I think are the best way to go if you're just starting out with eyeshadow. I'm first of all going to begin by talking about some cream eyeshadow pencils that I like. <laughs> Why does I think that say like that? Pencils. Um, pencils that I like and I've got a selection of different ones. I've got some more affordable ones and I've also got some more high-end ones depending on what your budget is. I'll start off by talking about the affordable ones. The two brands that I really like for cream pencil eyeshadows that are more affordable are Kiko and NYX. NYX do a really good and quite a large collection of something called their jumbo eye pencils which are basically like eyeshadow pencils these are really good because they are a cream formula they've got really good pigmentation they don't crease especially if you set them as well and they're quite affordable as well and there's a very big 
kind of range of colors so depending on what color you want i have three colors here that i wanted to show you so this one is called cashmere which is a light beige gold pure gold is a really rich true gold a little bit like the half baked color from the urban decay palette and then this one is called raspberry milk which is a really nice light shimmery pink color so these are really good if you are just getting into eyeshadow products and you don't want anything too messy you want something really quick and simple because you can literally just take this draw it onto your eyelid and then blend it in with your finger or a brush if you want to and then that's pretty much you're done you're good to go if you want to here in the uk i know that we sell them in boots i think they now on feel unique and i think you can get them on cult beauty now as well so there's quite a lot of places that now sell nyx so these are definitely something i would highly recommend and i really really like them i think they're a really good product if you're getting into eyeshadow next i want to talk about some of the kiko products and these are the long lasting sticks which are basically like roll up sticks that are eyeshadows so they're like kind of cream eyeshadows that are in a sort of a pencil slash stick formula and these are really good if you want something that's again easy to use kiko have a really good selection of colors again and they're quite affordable as well these are actually one of the first things i tried from kiko and i really liked them i have two colors here they don't actually have names they're just they've just got numbers so i have got zero two which is like a frosty metallic silver color and then i have this one which is zero six which is like an olive green color these are really really nice again they're really easy to use they are very pigmented they last you a very long time and i don't find that these crease very much either again if you set them as well so if you're looking for something that's again affordable and you want a really good kind of color range kiko do a really good color range as well now the last thing i wanted to talk about for the eyeshadow pencil category are these ones from charlotte tilbury these are called the color chameleons and they are basically cream eyeshadow pencils that again you sharpen and the idea of these is that they have different ones that are suited towards different eye colors but you can use whatever ones you want so the two that are meant for blue eyes is champagne diamonds and amber haze which is these two here so these are the two that i have for blue eyes but then i also got these two as well so i've got one which is called bronze garnet which is a really nice bronze color and i also have this one which is called smoky emerald which is a really beautiful kind of emerald green color but these are not the most affordable ones in the selection i've showed you these are the most expensive but i really really like them they've got a really beautiful metallic sheen to them they are absolutely gorgeous and i think it's worth paying the extra money if you want something that's really really you know kind of outstanding and really eye-catching and really kind of creates a very put together look because i feel like with a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows they really do make you look like you've spent ages on your eyeshadow even though you probably haven't and I really like the selection of colours and whenever I wear any of these I always get compliments and I always get asked what eyeshadow I'm wearing particularly the Champagne Diamonds one I think it's probably my all time favourite one I always wear that one in the inner corner alongside any gold eyeshadow that I'm wearing I've got a few more like cream and liquid products to show you before I get on to some more eyeshadows so i have two more things to show you from Charlotte tilbury again and uh, there is going to be a few more Charlotte tilbury things in this video so i will warn you about that but i have also got some other brands to show you as well so it's not going to be all Charlotte tilbury don't worry so these are the eyes to mesmerize cream eyeshadows which i absolutely swear by i love and this is the one thing when anybody asks me about eyeshadows i always tell them about these and actually when i was out in london with my friend who's also blind last year i actually convinced her to buy one of these and she literally she loves it she messaged me the other day being like oh my god it's the best thing i've ever bought i always wear it now and i just i i love it so there you go people do take my advice you know so these two shades are really really kind of beautiful nice wearable shades for like every day this one that i have here is in the shade bet and it is a gold shade a really pretty kind of like gold ambery shade and then this one is called Marie Antoinette which is more like an oystery colour which is really really beautiful so these eyeshadows are actually inspired by different women throughout history so obviously hence the names they have got other shades apart from these two but these are the two that I personally like the most and I just think that they are so easy to apply they are literally like a cream eyeshadow but they do not dry out other cream eyeshadows that I've used do dry out over time and they go a little bit kind of like powdery after a time and they're not as easy to use these ones 
are just as creamy, just as easy to use as the day I bought them. They last you such a long time and they are such good value for money. So if you want something that's literally really quick and easy to use, just get a little bit on your finger, apply it to your lid, or you can use a brush if you want to as well, and then that's pretty much it. They are just literally a dream to work with. I hope she brings that even more in the future because they are just stunning and this is my like my die hard makeup product. This is the one thing for eyeshadow that if I had to pick one thing to recommend, it would be these because they're just so good. They're so easy to use. I think these are £22. Again, I'll link it down below with the information. So they're not the most affordable things in the world, but they are really, really good. So I've also got a couple of glitter eyeshadows to show you that are liquid based. Now glitter eyeshadows that are powders are probably one of the most difficult things to apply when you have a visual impairment and I'll attest to that because there's so much fallout with them. Usually they're, they're like a really kind of like loosely packed pigment so there's a lot of fallout underneath your eyes. They are not the easiest things to apply so I always say steer clear of powder glitter eyeshadows. If you like glitter eyeshadows don't go for powders, go for liquids. And the ones that I really like are from two different brands. So I've got some that are the Fairy Lights liquid eyeshadows from Pixie and I've also got one of the Magnificent Metals eyeshadows from Stila. So I'll talk about the Pixie ones first. There are more shades apart from these two but these are two of my favourites. I actually got sent these ages ago and I really like these. So I have one which is called Sunray which is a really beautiful yellow gold sunray colour. It's gorgeous and then I have this one which is called Rose Gold. So as you would imagine it's like a really nice rose gold colour. These are liquid eyeshadows. They are applied with a doe foot applicator and you just apply a little bit of these to your lids, blend it in again with a finger or a brush. The good thing about liquid and cream eyeshadows is that you can usually just use your finger so there's not need to go out and get loads of brushes and stuff which I think is quite nice if you're just getting into eyeshadow and you don't want to be buying brushes and things like that. These are really good to use for that reason. And these are really beautiful colours. They're really easy to apply. They're very kind of a very iridescent glitter they're not really massively chunky parts of glitter i don't think anyway so it's a little bit more easy to use and the color you just get is really really pretty and then, like i said i have one of the steel up magnificent metals eyeshadows and this is in the shade kitten karma i have quite a few different ones but this is probably my favorite one and this is like a peachy pinky gold shade it's really hard to describe but it's honestly one of the most beautiful eyeshadows. It's gorgeous. I think it's one of their best sellers actually because I wanted to get this one last year at Christmas and it just kept selling out. But it's honestly, it's stunning. It's one of the prettiest shades I've ever used from Stila and I just think it's really nice if you like gold, pinky tone eyeshadows. The glitter in this is a little bit more chunky but I tend to find that it really is nice for the party season or if you want to have a more of a glittery look and people do comment on this eyeshadow whenever I wear it. So if you want an eyeshadow that gets you comments then definitely try this one out. Next I want to talk about some eyeshadow products and eyeshadow palettes. Now when you first start off with eyeshadows I always say when you want to use palettes start off with quads. Quads are basically eyeshadow palettes that have four shades in them. So you've just got shades that are usually like one for your lid, one for your crease, one for your line or your outer V and then a highlighter shade. So they're quite easy to get started with. And I have this little gem here from a company called ELF or ELF. I'm never too sure how to say it, but they are an American based brand and they are also available here in the UK now. Superdrug now sells them and you can also still buy their stuff online to be shipped over here to the UK. And these are the Flawless Eyeshadow Palettes and they come with four colours. And what I like about these palettes is that each shade is named. Each palette will say base, lid, crease and line. Although the line you could also use on the outer V which is basically the little kind of V-shaped area that's on the outer corner of your lid. But you could use it for the liner as well if you want to use it as an eyeliner with a little slanted brush. And this is one of their flawless eyeshadow palettes. They've got quite a few different shade ranges. They are like $2. They're really, really cheap. So now some other quads I wanted to mention are from Charlotte Tilbury and they are the luxury eyeshadow palettes. Now these are more, <laughs> more expensive. I'll definitely admit that. They are £39 per palette and for four shadows that is very steep I will definitely admit that I'm not going to make no bones about it that is expensive but they're really good and I only ever buy these or get these when it's my birthday or Christmas they are really good quality and if you want something that's really easy to apply and you want a really 
put together look then they are definitely worth the money i have eight of them so believe me if i didn't like them i wouldn't keep buying them so the two that i really wanted to mention to you today are these two this one here i've got here is the dolce vita and it's got some really beautiful rust autumnal colors and this one is the golden goddess which has some really beautiful golden nude shades the thing that i love about these eyeshadow quads is that each shade is meant for a particular purpose the first shade is the prime shade which goes all over your eyes the second shade is the enhanced shade which you use on your crease the third shade is the metallic shade which you apply with a finger to your lid and it's the pop shade so it's the pop of color and then the final shade is the smoke shade which you can use on the outer corner or you could also use it on your lash line as well just to create a little bit more of a smoky effect each shade that i've mentioned will be in exactly the same place so it's really easy to know which shade goes where and it's just really easy to just put together a quick makeup look without any fuss really and i just think they're really beautiful shades they are more expensive but if you have the cash to splash i would definitely recommend looking at these because they are really 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 nice now i have one final charlotte tilby product to mention for this video and then that will be it i swear to you and it's the instant eyeshadow palette which she bought out last year i think she's also brought out a new one this year as well which has got more brighter colors in it i haven't bought that one yet but i'm seriously contemplating it and this has some really beautiful shades a lot of very nude neutral shades but what i really like about this palette is that each three shades are for one look so you've got your day eye which has some very nice mink nude colors in it you've got your desk eye which has got more brown peachy tone shades in it you've got your date eye which has got some more kind of smoky colors in it and then you've got your disco eye which has got really kind of smoky metallic shades in there so if you like neutral eyeshadow you don't like too much color with your eyeshadows but you want something that's really easy to use then i would definitely recommend this and what i like about this is that each three shades are for a particular look so you know that these three shades are for your day eye these three shades are for your desk eye these three shades are for your date eye and then these three are for your disco eye so each kind of look is really easy to kind of map out and it's really kind of nice because each shade is separated by a little individual pan so you know exactly where the shades are in the actual palette which is what i really like about this this is more expensive this is 60 pounds put this on your christmas list i've got one final palette to mention for this video and it's from tarte now i really like tarte's eyeshadows because the pigmentation is really really good there is no fallout with these shades i've tested them and i can honestly say that out of all the eyeshadow palettes that i've used this one has the least fallout for me even with the metallic shades and i just think that the actual shadows are really really good they're very buttery they're really easy to apply and it's just really quick and simple to use them and i really like them i've got three different palettes i've got the tartlet in blue which is this one but the tartlet one which is the original one which is all matte shades and i've also got tartlet toasted which is gorgeous and that one's perfect for autumn it's got lots of warm rich amber gold burgundy tones so if you like those sorts of shades then that one might be for you but this one i think is the most versatile this is tartlet and blue and it's got a mixture of taupes and browns and pinks and gold each row of the palette is basically a look so you can use the top row for one look the middle row for another look and the bottom row for another look so it's really just easy to use and if you don't want to have to kind of think about well, what shade should I use today then you can just do it like that or you can kind of mix and match and use whatever shade you want which isn't again what I like to do but I definitely would say that this is just easy to use if you're not sure what shades you want to use or what shades should go where it's just really simple to use and I think the shadows in there you get are really really beautiful and really nice for kind of like a very kind of romantic eye really nice sort of, sort of pinky and brown and mink talk tones i think it's gorgeous but if you are looking for tart you can get them on qvc here in the uk and obviously in america they do them in like sephora and places like that so definitely would recommend tart if you're looking for some good eyeshadows or some good eyeshadow palettes so that concludes my video today on the top eyeshadow products that i would recommend if you have a visual impairment i really hope you found this useful and i really hope you found something that you might like to try thank you all so much for watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe and also be sure to click the little notification bell down below to receive updates when i make new videos and i will see you guys in my next one bye everyone